Hey there, I'm Jennifer Nascimento, and this is 5 Minute English. <music> 5 Minute English is a video series that helps you learn English in only 5 minutes. There are many videos that you can explore relating to vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, idioms, phrasal verbs, so many things. Today we're going to cover a way that you can learn with one of my favorite TV shows, Bloodline. I'm so excited because Bloodline is back on Netflix for season two. And I have to tell you, I was immediately hooked to this TV show when I started watching it. I loved it so much that I immediately added it to my English Through TV monthly program. As you will learn, my English Through TV program helps you expand vocabulary, including idioms, expressions, and phrasal verbs that you will hear naturally in context throughout the TV show. This is one of the best ways to learn because you're hearing these words used by native speakers naturally. In our follow-up Skype lesson, we will use the worksheet to have a 45 minute to a one hour conversation. You are gonna use this TV show and the program to improve your speaking as well. Yes, you're improving vocabulary, listening comprehension, and speaking. You can learn more about English Through TV with this link below. I wanna give you a little preview about what English Through TV is and help you learn some expressions and practice listening comprehension today. Let's see an example of what one of those questions may be and see how your listening is today. Let me ask you something. Is she not the most beautiful woman in the entire world? The entire world, really? Yeah. You've never left the key. I went to Orlando once, but it was too it was too cold. Before I sit down, I'd like to say a few words about my kids. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, there's Meg, my sunshine, who went north to Tallahassee to study law up in Yankee Country. <laughs> and then there's Kevin, my youngest son whose love of the sea and life and uh, the three o'clock cocktail <laughs> kept him here. <laughs> and of course there's John. Okay, from that short clip, can you answer this question? Why did the youngest son, Kevin, stay home in the Keys? You can see the answer to this below in the description or in the full blog post. So let's learn some vocabulary today. The four expressions we're going to learn in today's 5-Minute English video are from Season 1, Episode 1. This is a quick preview of what you can learn with the program. Vocabulary word number one, to feel something in your gut. Your gut is another word for your stomach. To feel something in your gut means that you intuitively, deep down, know something, even though you don't have proof. It's one of those inside feelings that you just know. It can be positive or negative. I knew that Sally was lying. I felt it in my gut. I didn't have proof that she was lying, but it's something I knew, it's something that I felt. Another expression learned in this episode is on the fritz. On the fritz means that something is not working properly. I had to take my phone in to get it repaired because it was on the fritz. The next vocabulary expression, number three, is to be in a hole. To be in a hole figuratively means you are in a problematic situation or you are in some kind of difficult problem. I borrowed money from the bank and I couldn't pay it back, so I was in a hole. The final expression today is going to be to run an idea by someone. To run an idea by someone means to check with another person's opinion about an idea that you have. I had a great idea for my business. But first, I had to run the idea by my business partner to make sure he agreed. All right, so this five minute English video was just teaching you four expressions, giving you listening comprehension practice, and showing you how fun and helpful my English Through TV program can be. If you are interested in signing up for English Through TV, you can visit my website, englishoutsidetheboxcom slash courses. If you're interested in more information, feel free to reach out and send me an email or contact me directly through the site. Remember, five minute English videos teach you all kinds of information. 
So if you liked this video and you want more, you can subscribe to my channel now. And even better, if you sign up for my newsletter, you will get a free phrasal verb guide and you will get access to my Tuesday 2, which are two free English lessons sent to your inbox every week. All of that is free, so you can download that now with this link here. And I look forward to seeing you again for next week's 5-Minute English video. Bye!